Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be talking about my uh, Louis Vuitton Rivington in the GM. Um, this is a discontinued design and um, I got this right before, right after we got married. Uh, my husband just said, my husband just said, why don't we just go to Louis Vuitton because it was like four or five blocks away from where we used to live in Chicago. And so we walked there, like totally unexpected. He just completely surprised me. And we just walked there and um, I actually was going to get or was planning to get a Louis Vuitton Alma PM in the Demi Ebin. And um, I just kind of feel like when I was living in a city, it, it, it just wasn't as flashy or in your face and as I guess more popular. Was, is really what it was. I was kind of always worried I was gonna get mugged if I wore the monogram, so I chose this print. Um, when I went there and I saw the Alma PM in the Damier Bean, I was completely disappointed. It was a lot smaller than I wanted and it was incredibly structured. It was very painful for my the side of my body when the where the bottom part hits because the treated leather it can soften in time, but it years. It's not gonna be in a week, it's not gonna be in a month. When I, um, now it's already, let's see. It's already now, where's the date code? Six years? Yeah, six years old, this is six years old. And, um, where's the date code? I don't even know where the date code is, honestly. I When I was at the store, I never really asked where to find it and I just I'm usually not very good in trying to find date codes um, I'm in a lot of Louis Vuitton groups and people are always like well, where's the date code where's the date code but that's usually when you're buying like pre love just so you're not scammed so the date code is right here in the very bottom um, FL would be France 3141 would be 2011 um, so this is an eight-year-old bag, 2011, uh, 34th week. I don't know what month that would be, but 34th week of the year. So, um, I didn't get this that year. I actually got this in 2013. So that is six years for me. It's probably been sitting there in that particular store for a couple years. So, um, when I got it. It was in pristine condition, even though it was on display and they said it was the only one left. And you know what? I really I really regret that now because I was just super excited. I didn't really think about it. That's why that's why it's so hard for me to purchase anything in store because I've been burned. Before, when I would purchase anything in store from Louis Vuitton, it was either I was by myself or someone I trusted and it wasn't like a spur of the moment. Like, um, it wasn't a rare occurrence and so I always knew what I wanted and I always was like or if I didn't say it my companion or companions would always say we want someone from we want something from the back we're not getting a display and if there's no display we're not buying that but at the time I was just you know I was married like not very long less than a month and um, my husband just kind of sprung it on me I wasn't prepared I wasn't even thinking of a bag to be honest at the time I was just like, you know, a newly a newlywed. So, um, I never really, I never really um, noticed this bag, just because of um, I was just really, really admiring the Alma a lot, because I thought the Alma is a very iconic bag, and I was kind of thinking um, the PM would be such a beautiful size for me. But then it's really hard and she was like, well, you can always get a bandier, which is French for just a strap, a shoulder strap. It just sounds fancier because it's on French. But anyway, I'm like, I didn't say it to her face, but um, these are not really designed. You know, if you add a strap to this, it's okay. But then just so you know, if you do add a long strap, the, these will s stress itself due to the fact that when they test this and they test this really well like they'll get someone to you know wear it in different ways and kind of like you know do the whatever whatever test they do but it doesn't include something that's not a part of the bag so with that said it will deteriorate your bag quicker 
and it will probably rip your um rip the, the this part right here the good thing about this particular model of the bag is that it is treated leather it is not directly on canvas so if you are wanting to add um something like that like a strap it wouldn't be so bad but for an alma i think it would be kind of bad um because this is just it has a rivet like a cute little button here and just the design is super cute um so it has a little bit more protection so it won't it won't really rip the canvas right away just because it's attached this one is attached to leather on leather if that makes any sense and louis vuitton is always going to repair on your dime repair any kind of leather issues if you want it to be changed um just uh it's going to be the same you know the same look but a newer fresher um brand new leather and that's what they can do they 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 will not touch it if it is canvas what i did notice is that you know this is six years old and it looks brand new it still looks spankingly brand new beautiful um i am i am appreciating this bag a lot more now just because it's not as painful to use but again it's a six-year-old bag it's a six-year-old bag now first few years i tell you four four years first four years this was rough and i love to wear it i love to wear it in the spring and summer just because of the of the strap and i can wear it with like a sweater or a tank top or just a t-shirt you know like that I loved it however however it would like it would leave me red marks and what I noticed like even when I was wearing like fall coats or um, yeah fall coats and it, you know the fall coats aren't really that super thick but they can be a little bit thick it would still leave me red marks right here I usually don't put it on my left side and just on my right and what I've also noticed is this is kind of a heavier bag due to the fact of the treated leather to me I believe I have just believed um, all of my Damier Ebene bags by Louis Vuitton has always been really really heavy I feel like they get heavier quicker they just they just and also um, the treated leather really does dig the first few years for me. I believe it was like the first Four to five years was probably when it would still dig on my skin. It hasn't it hasn't done that this year 2019 <laughs> It's been a long way guys <laughs> This year I always check like on my shoulder and it I'm like every single time I was using this bag this year I'm like, oh my god, there's no red mark Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that's amazing. So if you can wait, if you can wait five to six years and not get your red mark, and if you don't care, then it's okay. That's why I'm really like on the fence because I really am thinking of getting um, uh, a bag that I really stated I would never get, but I really am on the fence and getting, and I am also on the fence and getting it in the dummy a bean. However, I am worried again that it's gonna take me years before it actually becomes really pliable um, Due to this so now it's like super soft and um, When I first like first few years I got this because It was a gift for my husband and it has a lot of sentimental value for me. I never wanted to sell this bag I did go on and off that maybe I will due to the fact that it's really hard for me to wear but then I go back at it and be like it has sentimental value I even brought it up to my husband once and he is very sensitive and um, seeing his face when I brought it up to him one time like really just diminished that idea just because it really did crush him he's like well it is yours so you do whatever you want but then his face was telling me a different thing um but he didn't want to say that because it's mine still because i said you know it still holds up its value it's it's um it's probably more expensive now because they don't sell it anymore like i'm just being honest if i sell this particular bag my bag um 
I don't have a lot of issues. I have a scratch on here. You can see that. There's a scratch right there. I did that in the first year. Like, in the first month or two. Because, um, you know, like in the first... I, I, would, I really babied this one. I babied this one so much because it was a gift from my husband. The first gift he's ever gotten me since we were married. And so I babied this a lot. Um, and I kind of noticed that. And... Um, I have some fading over here in the corners and this is in my previous reviews too that's why I don't really prefer dummy Amin because of these the monogram doesn't really do that and that is just like regular rubbing the corners really take a beating with the dummy Amin the most but when you look at it overall like this it just it really, you can't really tell. It looks still spanking brand new. This is the big size. This is the GM. They only sold this in the Rivington PM and the GM. Um, I thought the, I thought the PM was a kid's, um, was a little girl's bag, to be honest. It was really small for me. Um, yeah, it just wasn't for me. This really looks better in person. Um... I remember when my husband just said that, oh, let's just do this. And I remember, because I'm a planner and I like to be, I like to be, um, prepared. I'm like, I'm going to go to their website first and then we're going to go. He said, let's just go. Just pick whatever you want. And I'm like, no, I want to be prepared. And that's when I picked the, um, Alma PM. Um, out of all the bags, I just didn't pick anything else aside from Alma PM. And then when I got there, I zoomed into the Demi Bean. I remember we were there for a little bit and I didn't want to get the Alma PM anymore, but I still wanted to get a bag and my husband's just loitering around. Um, it, it made me also kind of really nervous because he was just like, sometimes he will just kind of stand a few feet away from me and then watch the whole thing. So um, the essay even said, do you want to go on the other side of the store where all of the monogram are? Or do you want to see even a dummy AB? I mean, a dummy Ezer? And I said, no, I just want to do a dummy AB. Um, and I just want to stick to dummy AB. I just, you know, you don't have to explain it. So I'm playing my head. I'm like, I got a lot of monograms and I don't even use that right now. Um, that's just my life right now. <laughs> I was worried I was going to get mugged. Um, just, just a lot of concerns. So six years finally like beautiful um i haven't done it every year i do recommend you clean condition the leather part one to two times a year twice would be the max minimum one time um i think the last time i cleaned this bag like the leather which probably takes like seriously less than a minute i take you back maybe it'll take you like less than five minutes to do the dummy bean. Um, what I would do, um, and don't worry, I'll try to link the products that I use down below. For dummy bean, you don't really have to protect it, but it is leather, so you still do have to do the maintenance. I just um, use cotton swabs and a rag. Generally, a, a rag would be okay because it's not like it's really that filthy, but I do want to get all the dust or whatever could be on it. So I clean it and then I give it, um, I clean it and then I wipe it down with a dry cloth just so there's not excess residue on there and make sure, you know, all the cleaner is gone. And then I put in the conditioner and then um, I make sure I don't use it right away. Right away meaning that same day or within, if you want to use it later that day, you can. To me, um, I usually let it sink in for overnight. Um, two days would be ideal, but usually when I am cleaning it, I'm done using it for at least a week um, so it can kind of really rest with it. So that's what I would prefer, but um, if you need to do it like that day, I would give it at least an hour. At least an hour to let the conditioner kind of sink in a little bit. Um, make sure it coats there and it really does um, protect the leather and make sure it keeps that maintenance because the problem with a dummy Ibin, this will crack if you don't really do the maintenance. 
a lot of people have had issues with that any kind of any kind of leather that is not vaquera it will crack and crack is basically crack on leather is basically cancer so you want to take care of that really well unless you don't really care and once it cracks you just want to get it um, redone with Louis Vuitton excuse me give it to them pay for the change of the leather and then um, and then take it home um, the wear on this is pretty much the same from the last time I did a video on this but I will still show it to you there's a little bit of thread popping out I don't truly remember when this happened, but it's only there. I don't really have a lot of issues on this one. There's a little bit of fray right there. You can barely see it. Um, there's really nothing over here. And this one, there's also another fray right there. Right there. So, um, six years old. And the condition is still looking like spanking brand new. <clears throat> now, from my monogram over there, would I prefer a dummy a bean because of the patina? No, I still I still love that. Um, I am on the fence though on buying particular bags, which I'm not gonna mention it because I might change my mind. I want to get it in Damier Bean and in um, Monogram. And, um, yeah, but I'm kind of worried about the treated leather. So we'll see. We'll see. But I really, I really do want to get this particular model that in a previous video that I did a um, couple years ago, I think, <clears throat> I said I am never going to get this bag. Ever. ever 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 but then now I really really want it like I can't get it out of my head I want it so much so um, if you're interested in a dummy a bean bag and if you're interested in a in an in um currently discontinued model and you're looking at a Rivington GM or a PM um, as you can see this is six years old and I use this every year every single year maybe not every day you know, maybe not like for straight how many months. In the first year or two, I think I use this every day for straight at least like at least a couple months at a time. And then I might switch it to a different bag and then I go back to this and then I'll switch it again and do that. Um, just because I really do love it. And I'm really glad that um, it has softened now because every day that I've used this this year, especially with like the horrible weather with the when it's raining so much, it's just I don't even think about it. Like, I mean, I kind of don't really think about it when I'm using my mono, but I still do when I get home and it's raining. <laughs> I kind of do like a quick glance over. But not really a thorough, you know, check with this. I just don't. I just like, I just like even put it on my table or like a table, like the counter maybe or the dining table for a little bit. And then it'll have like a little bit of water. And if I remember, um, I'll wipe it down. And sometimes I just leave it there. And to be quite honest, it just, the water just kind of drips down. And it is just beautiful. If you're new to Louis Vuitton, if you're new to luxury bags, you want to dip your toes into something that you want to invest in. I would suggest a dummy a bean bag. Um, if you really want something that um, you don't have to worry about. Because I'm in a lot of Louis Vuitton groups. And to be honest, there's a lot of complaining. There's a lot of just little things here and there that is normal wear and tear. That they just go and complain and like make a big deal out of it. Just go with the dummy a bean if you're not really if you're not really um going to be realistic on the situation. It's a bag, it is not a bulletproof vest, and it's not a weatherproof um weatherproof like you know, like a particular very heavy duty item. It's not a 
car that, you know, when sometimes even, even cars get dense when there's hail. Like, it's not gonna be something like that. Yes, you paid good money, you paid a lot of money for it, but um, don't expect it to just be like perfect. You know what I mean? Don't expect it to be like bulletproof, not perfect, but like bulletproof or weatherproof or um, that you don't need to take care of it and just throw it around. If you wanna throw it around, make sure you don't really care what happens to it. But if you do, I would say baby it. I don't really baby my bags. This one I did, but it was because it was like a very, 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 very crazy sentimental value for me. So I did. Um, now I just, I don't. The only time that I really do check about nicks and um, issues with the corners and things like that is when I'm doing a video for you guys. Every day that I'm using this or when I'm moving it around, like, I don't think about it. I really don't. So, I, I to me, to me, honestly, the more I baby, like, when I get my the bags brand new, the more I baby it, the more it gets issues. The more I feel like I just don't really think about it, I don't overthink it, the more... I mean, the less or probably zero times that it will it will get a nick, it will get a scratch, it will get a stain, it will get a watermark, all that stuff. Um, and I think that's what happened with this. I babied it so much and just, you know, the corners were getting issues. Um, there's like a, a little fading here and the button here or well, other people will call it a rivet that kind of situation and then you know what after i stopped babying it, and that was in the span of a few months after i stopped babying it it hasn't gotten worse the other parts haven't be turned like that as well there is no tarnish on any of the um these squares i don't remember what they're called the hardware so i really love it and it's super shiny and super pretty and i really really love it um, so there you go. If you guys have any questions about Damier Bean, treat the leather in regards to Damier Bean leather, um, a shoulder bag, Louis Vuitton, all that good stuff, you do want to chit chat, feel free to jump down below. Um, I would love to connect with you guys. All of my social media accounts are down below as well. I love, love, love connecting with you guys. So please do that. Um, I love getting like DMs and like, oh, I saw your video and I really liked it and I followed you here on Instagram and I really like, I love it. Um, so keep on sending a love. I love it. And, um, all the support is, has just been so heartwarming. All the, all the mail, all the presents, all the good wishes, positive vibes. Thanks guys so much. Um, thank you guys and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. And, um. I almost forgot. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe, and of course the bell so you notified every single time I upload a new video. Bye.